we know that you worked very hard. My man. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're here to lower the fear? Lower the fear and raise love, yes, sir. Okay. Well, you we should stay this. right here. Yeah. We'll do that. We're not, giving not free hugs. Tonight. We're giving free Yeah, hugs. seriously, all the time come down here. Anybody can come down to lower, lower the fear. Thursday night? Yeah. Anybody can come down on Thursday We have Thursday a lot of problems night. down here. No with this can, I, uh, can I ask you, Aaron, to hold, to hold the camera for a minute when you guys are done? Could you hold this? Yes. Can I ask you a question, officer? Uh, if somebody ran for city council and said, uh, you know, we need to prepare for the dollar crashing, we need to have a plan for Portland, and how the Portland police would be organized outside the federal government being involved in our business, would you vote for that person? Or would you think that perhaps... Uh, you know, because the way I look at it, like they've taken a lot of money from the federal government, our whole country's imploding right now, and uh, the way things look, there's there's not a lot of good things coming to our city unless we have someone that's either the mayor or someone in charge that's organizing stuff. The last couple of years, we've had federal government terror drills, Homeland Security here, we've had top off four. We have these black helicopters that are run by the Navy Special Warfare Unit. So we have a lot of focus by the federal government on Portland. Um, would you vote for someone that would try to take a closer look at why that's actually happening? Would you vote for someone that would try to raise some of these questions and get people talking? Well, I'd vote for someone that's going to put more police out on the streets. That's who I'd vote for. Okay, do you think there's a plan in place for how we have police remain on the streets to deal with, say, women's safety and say, if, say, the dollar crashed? How would we actually have something planned? Because a lot of people out there say law enforcement, if it all mounts down, they're not going to stay and work for free. They're going to go home and take care of their families. So unless we have a plan for that meltdown, you're not going to have more police on the streets. You're going to have all these people gone. And you're going to have he like hell on the streets. And, you know. why, didn't it, why didn't you get voted in? You, you can start putting your plan together. <coughs> you got a bunch of friends. You could get them signed up. Well, we, we just met tonight, actually. I've been, doing, I've been doing a TV system. show in Portland for, for six years, asking people to support me. I spoke before city council two years ago saying, you guys are taking blood money from the federal government. And I went to top off for. I got a press pass and went there every single day, and I saw what they're getting Portland ready for, and it's scary. Okay, you guys are being federalized. You guys will not answer to uh, the chief of police. You're going to answer to whoever he's answering to. You're not going to be able to, to fix Bottom the crime line, problem by putting more cops on the streets if there's if we're going through an economic Dollar implosion. Dollar crash is going to be up to citizens to help each other. That's yeah, true. Absolutely. That's what are you going to do? Yeah. So have a lot of friends. Have your own plan together. Make sure other people have their plan. You Sir, you guys will be all right. May we? Thanks for talking to me. Could, could I get you on video? Um, could I get? Get it on video giving you a hug because we'll get extra points as part of an international competition yeah, if we, we, we give no, a hug to I a police officer. I don't do hugs or skateboards or all that, so it does. <laughs> no, you're not? No. Okay. Well, I'm here. I'm working hard. Thank That's you very much enough. for doing your job, though. We appreciate it. Let's try that. That film. Look, hey, look, another harassment. You're under arrest. Oh. All right, excuse me. Please get out of the way. This is why they want more officers on the street. I want to encourage everyone watching this to continue talking to police, but this is why they want more officers on the street. If you plug something in, get my shit out of here. What did he do? All right, I, I I I had something plugged in without knowing. I didn't. I couldn't have something plugged in. Apparently, it's a really serious deal around here. Being a citizen in black. What happened? What is that? Guy every day. You just had that plugged in and they took him away? Yeah. You might have also said. That guy's some bullshit. <laughs>